Big week ahead for New York City world leaders, dignitaries descending on the Big Apple for the annual UN General Assembly, right? But New Yorkers know it is a traffic nightmare. And for the NYPD, it's a big operation. So joining me now, the NYPD Assistant Commissioner, Kaz Daughtry. So good to see you, Assistant Commissioner. Good to have uh, you here. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me on. So let me begin first and foremost, before we get to the UN security measures, mm -hmm. the big topic of the week has been this big announcement that was made right here with the mayor about these 5% cuts. Every department seems to be affected by this. No one spared. What does a 5% cut look like to the NYPD? Has it been discussed yet? We are in discussions. However, I'm not part of those discussions. Mm -hmm. Those those questions should be directed at our, our police commissioner and our deputy commissioner of management and budget. Okay, so, but all things are being looked at and talked about. All things about. are being looked at, but listen, New Yorkers should feel safe that, you know, uh, I'm sorry. New Yorkers should know that there's, this is not going to jeopardize any safety here. We are, we are fine. Good. Laser yeah. focus on that. Yep. And speaking of safety, mm -hmm. let's go talk. And by the way, I will invite the police commissioner on to talk about that. But yep. let me f say laser focus right now on what you guys are looking at, and that's the U.N. General Assembly. So many world leaders. How many is it? We have about over 100, about 46, 100, 146 world leaders yeah. coming here to New York City. Obviously, it's a big time operation uh, for the NYPD, yes. and you guys are well prepared for this as you are every single year. What's changing this year? New technology being used? Well, we, we know, I, would, I wouldn't call it new, but we, we're, uh, we're looking at advancing our technology, mm -hmm. you know, here, especially for the, uh, uh, you know, the General Assembly. We have our drone teams, which is a big topic. Everybody's been talking about drones yep. and, you know, that we're, the NYPD is invading their privacy. That's not the case here. Um, we have no drone flights planned. Okay. However, there's drone teams on standby 24-7 in the event of any public safety emergency or if our federal partners need to utilize our drones, we're on standby. They're ready for rapid deployment. So because of the city being in gridlock, those drones could get somewhere quicker? A hundred percent. And as you see, Dan, outside on 2nd Avenue, mm -hmm. it, traffic isn't moving. Yeah. Imagine a police car trying to get down 2nd Avenue right now as we speak, as opposed to sending a drone over right. ahead to go see what's going on to get a bird's eye view yeah. for, for our law enforcement officers as well as our federal partners here. Right. So overall, yeah. looking at the gridlock in New York City, what can people expect when, it, when, it, when they're looking at UN Week? You know, well, listen, we, we are encouraging New Yorkers to take mass transit. Mm -hmm. Transit is safe. We, we would like you to take mass transit. Um, for the next two weeks, traffic is going to be... Pretty rough. Stance. It is. And, and like I said before, if you look on 2nd Avenue right now, it took me an hour to get here right. just from one police plaza. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I want to talk overall then um, about safety in New York City, specifically when you ride the trains. People, you're talking about mass transit, so let's talk about safety in the subways uh, and how that's looking in terms of crime. Yeah. So, you know, it's funny you, you talk about that. Um, first, first of all, our subway system, if you, you take our subway system, ridership's ride ride up. Mm -hmm. You know, New York City's bustling. I, I took the subway a couple of days ago. I see a, a mass influx of people riding the subway. Our transit chief just initiated a new program in transit, which is called the Community Response Team, which they're responsible for going after the quality of life offenses mm -hmm. in transit. Um, and they're going to continue to keep transit crime down. Um, and they're going after fare evasion, which I was just made aware of a couple of days ago that they made a, a fare evasion arrest, mm -hmm. got an individual with a loaded gun who was on parole. Okay. So, you know, they're going after these minor level yeah. offenses, which is leading to big things. Right. And so that's what's happening underground. Above ground, though, a different story with grand larcenies and, and um, grand theft. Lar uh, sorry. Grand theft autos. <laughs> grand theft autos. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Listen, we're seeing an uptick in um, our GLAs, which is yeah. uh, grand larcenies and autos. And what we're doing is we are, you know, we, you know, Chief Madry, the police commissioner, as well as a mayor and first deputy commissioner put together new initiatives to uh, to combat that. Mm -hmm. What they did was they started a new grand larceny unit. Mm -hmm. uh, they put additional cops in Queens North, where we're seeing an uptick at in grand yeah. larcenies, and we put additional cops in the Bronx. Okay. And their primary focus is to go out there and investigate yeah. and go out there and grab these, uh, you know, try to recover people's vehicles that are being stolen. Also, which is a very important part, is our educational campaign. Yeah. We want to educate the public on how to keep your vehicle safe. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be getting literature from us, from the NYPD, you know, um, with our mayor and our police commissioner on it. And it's going to give you some safety tips okay. on how to keep your vehicle safe, along with a QR code. All right, very good. Yeah. I want to talk about you, too. Assistant mm -hmm. Commissioner, this is the first position of its kind. What exactly does it mean? You know, I like to look at it as almost as an ambassador internally and externally to, you know, uh, to, to, to members of the, uh, you know, our executive staff as well as to our, our cops that, that are on the ground. You know, my job basically is to 
and um, to keep the, the, the chief of the department's vision yep. and to keep in public safety. Mr. Madry. Yes, which is Chief Madry. Have his vision. He gives our orders, what he needs done in the office, um, and just to, uh, to make sure that we keep you know, New York safe. It's a dual role, really, because you're yeah. assistant commissioner, but you're also chief of staff to Mr. Madry. Yes, correct. Um, and so for you, you followed him pretty much along his rising of the ranks. What has he meant for you? Well, Madry, Madry's a, a big mentor to me, you know? Um, let, you know. Let's talk about how we met. I was an explorer, you know, mm -hmm. which explore, uh, law enforcement explorer, going back over 25 years ago. He was my youth officer, mm -hmm. met him at a after school program. Um, he encouraged me to take the police test, encouraged me to join the explorer program, encouraged me to join the cadet program, followed him throughout my career, had a very successful career in his police department, and now I'm able to help him more now in a managerial role and to keep in his, uh, you know, which is in line with his vision is, to, you know, to help keep New Yorkers safe. Yeah, that's Keep crime key. down. Keep yeah. crime down, keep New Yorkers safe. That's right. Uh, Assistant Commissioner Kaz Daughtry, good to have you here. You're welcome back anytime, okay? Thank you so much, Dan. All right.